It, it has been sort of a, a lifelong interest because my my parents were always very interested in in the state of government, the effect of government on a, a family. I'd been an immigrant family and a small business, and and I really was in student council when I was in school. And then my wife and I were active at home. The 1988 Randall County Bush Quail co-chairman. And uh, in 1989, a friend of mine who served on the Amarillo City Council, we called it commission, called me and said he wasn't going to run again and thought I ought to run, that I'd expressed an interest not to run. So I ran in 1989 and um, ran again in 91. And in 93, I had filed for re-election and the mayor called me on a Sunday night and said that he was not going to run again. He'd served for two terms. He thought I ought to run and he was going to endorse me the next day on Tuesday if I would run. It was a very generous and gracious thing to do, particularly when, since I wasn't sure he liked me. And so uh, I ran for mayor and, and uh, was elected four terms mayor of, of Amarillo. And um, then I left office in 2001 and um, was appointed to the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission. In two, late 2003, uh, the late Teal Bivens was the senator, held this office. And then President Bush was going to nominate him to be the ambassador to Sweden. And that's when I decided to run for the Texas Senate. I was in a race with six other people and, and set what the Secretary of State at the time told me was a record three elections in 48 days. And was elected in 2004 and 2008. But what, what was the predicate for all this, which I think is particularly important, was just as a community volunteer. Budget Committee of the United Way, which everybody can do. I was one of, if not the first male, to head a sexual assault awareness group in the United States. And, and it is still, the Amarillo uh, uh, Rape Crisis Domestic Violence Center is still one of the models around the country, which I think is a very important thing. And, um, and that's it. It started with civic involvement. I happen to be one of those people who think that municipal government or local government, school boards and county commissions and city councils are the best place because you, you learn what... Uh, what public service is really, really about. Because after that, concerns of people, they're all potholes of one size or extent or another. They get deep and they get broad, but they're really the, the things that concern citizens who elect people like me to serve them.